Welcome back to No Man's Sky, everybody. Alon Paul here with your World's Playthrough. So, as I started last episode, I mentioned that the Worlds 2 would be out. Not out yet. Not out yet. As you know, we've had the Cursed Expedition. We're now in the middle of the uh, Reduxes, so we believe that the Worlds 2 update will probably occur the beginning of next year. Uh, 2025. So, uh, that's our latest thought. Who knows if that's going to be true or not, but we'll, we're not going to let that influence this video. So, we're going to continue on where we left off. As you know, this is pretty much the spot where we left off. I decided to just start the game and get it moving along right now. So, as I said before, and I've, I've rethought about this. As I said before, we're going to do the 1616. We need to speak to Null. We need to return to space, use the hollow terminal. We probably have to talk to Nada and Polo if we check our log here. Um... Yeah, so there's a lot to do here, but there's some things that we need to get done as well. A couple things, and you're seeing them on the left-hand side. Industrial surveying, no, not so much. We don't really need to worry about that. That just has to do with certain upgrades you put into your uh, multi-tool. But Dreams of the Deep and Under a Rebel Star. I know there's Planet in Distress. It's about the, uh, the settlements that are on the planets. I'm not sure. I'm thinking about whether I'm going to be doing settlements or not in, in, from this episode and also in future regular playthroughs. Once things get updated, we do a new playthrough. I'm probably going to ignore doing these settlements because settlements is something that doesn't seem to have changed um, from, you know, uh, run through, through, run through, run through. It, it doesn't seem to change any. So except for more items you can build, that's pretty much about it. So if you're into the building aspect of things, by all means, you can look into settlements knock yourself out. I do have a 101 video about settlements that is strictly about that. So please feel free to watch that on my uh, in my playlist. So moving on, we have Dreams of the Deep and Under a Rebel Star. I think in order of importance, not necessarily importance, but in order of the uh, way it was handed to you, I think we ought to do Dreams of the Deep. So this episode is going to be a little bit longer. Um, I'm actually doing a dual recording. I'm recording this and I'm recording audio on a secondary device in order to make sure my audio doesn't get messed up. So if it does, I'll just copy it over and we'll call it a day. Uh, so we're going to do Dreams of the Deep today. That's right. I know you weren't expecting it. You saw it in the title. Dreams of the Deep is what we're going to do. We want to do it before we start getting past all this. Uh, once we get into this section here, we're we're going to be uh, uh, kind of railroaded straight to getting things taken care of. So uh, th through the whole thing and finishing out the main storyline. So let's get these secondary storylines taken care of real quick. This is the creepiest of them, so let's go ahead and get it done. All right, so I'm going to get started. Dreams of the Deep is where we're going. Um, it's probably in a different location, but we're about to find out. Um, it just says investigate the broadcast site, so I believe the site is here. There you go, right on that planet over there. All right. So let's take our ship, and it's time to investigate. Um, before we go too far... Yes, we do have underwater. Got plenty of oxygen to charge it with. Okay, we should be good. We're going to be spending some time underwater. That's why I was talking. Um, wow, uh, really is a pretty planet from space, isn't it? All right, there's our anomaly. Let's get past all these stations so we can pulse over to the transmit coordinates. This looks like it's going to be on the cold planet. There we go. Just locked in. And we're on our way. Ladies and gentlemen, dreams of the deep. So if my voice sounds a little bit different today, um, unfortunately, is because I'm... I think I'm trying to fight off either a sinus infection or a cold. So enjoy the lower, the lower vibes, if you will. Every now and then I may take a sip of my hot drink that I have with me, so... Alright, we're heading in. Any background noise you might hear, I'm doing this early in the morning, and there's a good chance my family is going to start waking up. Alright, let's see here. Let's go over here. I think we're going to use the landing pad over here, plus it's a way to find another crash ship. Let's just see if this might be the spot. Oh! Well, look, what do you know? It is. Guess we're not finding a crash ship after all. All right, heading in. Okay, breach event for all seven souls. If you're listening, you have likely found our final log. 407 souls. Keep that in mind. 
bus 407. I leave this trace as a memory of my fallen friends and a warning to others who may end up on our path. I cannot deny myself the vain hope that someone may find me, though I beg you, do not follow. The haunting transmission ends. I notice the stranger has left behind an upgrade module for the aeration member. Like that. I take the upgrade module. Its installation history contains the serial number of its owner's starship. Perhaps I ought to follow. It just told you not to. That always get, I always get a kick out of that. So we have another underwater protection module. That's good. We're going to need them. Um, let's go ahead and move on then, shall we? Can we access this thing again? No? Okay. Moving on. All right, uh, before we hit the C button, I'm going to get in my ship. There we go. There we go. Starship Trignal. The signal trace established. Now, I have no reason to believe that this uh, mission has changed in any way. But we're about to find out, I guess. All right. Alright, so as you can see, we're kind of in the ocean here. Is it underwater? It is. Alright, now this is an approximate location, is it? Yes, it is. So, I think we may have found it. What do you think? Let's head over to the island here. I'm actually going to do a quick scan under uh, above the water. Let's just take a, a quick ride and see if we see anything underwater. No, I don't see anything. All right, let's go ahead and land here then. And there we go. Let's see. Oh, wow. Pretty close, actually. I'm thinking it's right there. Damaged machinery underwater. It doesn't seem to make any sense, right? That makes sense that that's where it would be. All right, shall we? And there we go. Look at that. All right. Log. Now we have plus four souls. So this is 400 days earlier, over a year, if you go by Earth terms. Most of the crew are dead. Only those of us already suited up when the asteroid hit survived the initial decompression. We were lucky that smaller starships were able to get clear before the hull imploded. None of our ships have hyperdrive capability. We should be able to retrieve the blueprints from the Phaedra's main data bank, though it appears to have crashed in the deep ocean. Thankfully, we still have, plan have the plans for the Nautil. Okay, so this is how we get our Nautil and plans, and our marine shelter. Now, what we can do is we can check out the ship real quick and just see if it's worth taking. It's an A-class, so that actually is worth taking. Um, we just need two pieces. Let's go ahead and claim the ship. We'll go back to our ship in a second. We just need a hermetic seal and a metal plate to get this repaired enough that we can take it. So there's my metal plate. Hermetic seal should be down here. There we go. And we got it repaired. Now we can turn it in. Uh, doesn't look like there's anything uninstallable, so we'll just stick with whatever we got. Alright, so that's done. We're gonna go back up towards our other ship. Problem is, is of course we don't see it. So you gotta kind of remember where you left it. Where did we park? Indeed. I think it's over here, but... Let me get up to the surface so we can see. Uh... Did I really lose it that bad? There it is. <laughs> That's a terrible one. Alright, and we will take that ship and scrap it sooner or later. Maybe not today, but later. Alright. Sooner or later we'll make it back. There we go. Into the... Yep, we're into the ship. Okay, good deal. Alright, so... Let's see. Dreams of the Deep. 
construct the Nautilus. All right, so we just got to build the Nautilus under the edge of the water here. Uh, let's see what it'll take to build it. Uh, let's see, there's our Nautilus. We need five metal plates, four crystal sulfides, and 100 salt. Okay, now we probably have this stuff back at our base, but let's just go ahead and grab it from here. The crystal sulfides would probably be the easiest thing to get. They are those particular items right there. 140, 120, they're right nearby. So let's go ahead and dive down and grab some crystal sulfides. We need at least four. We'll grab a few extra because, well, that's what you should do. We'll get the salt later. Salt has gotten from a lot of these plants under the water. Now these vents will blow, so you got to be careful. Uh, there should be one really, really close by. Where did he go? Uh, uh, 209. No, no. It should be like right in front of me. 101. Alright, man. Let's go over the rise and go grab something. Really thought there was another one like right next to it. But it is what it is. We're not far. See? They're literally right here. You know what? Grab some pearls while you're here. If you can. Did I get three of them? Looks like there were three plants here. Armored clam. Yeah, there's one more. No? No, there's only two. My bad. My bad. Alright, so there's one down there. He's kind of deep, though. Let's see if there's any others on the surface. I don't feel like digging right now. There's one right in front of us. Looks like everything's dropping all of a sudden, huh? Guess we gotta recharge everything now. Okay. And you know what? There's a few more right here. Let's just grab them. Might get damaged. Like that. <laughs> I was expecting it, and I still got surprised. <laughs> alright, alright. Have we already seen these guys? No? Let's go ahead and scan them. I don't know how many animals. We've found 11 species so far. Uh, there's another one. That's 12. Any more? I think the last species is probably underwater. <clears throat> Let's check real quick. And then we'll recharge everything. Uh, no, underground, so we don't have to look anymore. All right, let's recharge things. Uh, where is my... There's my ship. All right, so we're going to start with that. And that. And that. And... I don't know why that. But you know what? Why not? There we go. We're fully charged and everything. All right, we're going to need some salt, right? So now some of these plants, like this one... If we get close enough to it, some of these just have salt in them. And some have carbon, some have other things. I want to get a little closer. That's cytophosphate. We are going to need that at, a, at some point. But I'm, I held off because occasionally it releases plants that like to attack you. All right, 100. I want to get a couple hundred of it. Oh, like that. There they are. Hi, guys. I could just pull out my weapon, but there we go. They're gone. All right, how much cytophosphate did we get? 136. Uh, I want to get a little bit more. One more, I think, ought to do it. There's one in the distance. I'll grab that. All right. Now, these things down here, yep, those are the salt. Let's grab a little bit more of that than usual. In case we need it. There, yeah, got it. All right, off to the ship. I'm not going to fight those things. We're just going to continue on. All right, so we got salt. We got our... Uh, hmm, there's a lot of plants under here, though, too. Anyway, no. We got our salt. We got our cytophosphates. Not cytophosphate. Uh, what are those stupid things? Crystal sulfides. You know what I was trying to say. Okay, we just got to get out of the water for a moment and we'll get rid of those guys. There we go. Now, what does it take to build it? I think we need some metal plates, right? Five of them? Okay. We should have plenty of ferrite, don't we? We do not. No, don't have a lot of ferrite at all. We may need more. Let me see if we can make five. One, two, three, four, and five. Just, just enough. 
just enough to do it. But I'll show you a little trick on this. So we're going to head back into the water for a moment. Nope, right there is deep enough. Okay, so there's our Nautilus. So we built it. Okay. Now, now that the Nautilus is here, go ahead and deconstruct the platform it's on, and you'll get all that back. I hope. Get all five plates? Did we get them? Yes, we did. All right, so you'll be able to maintain them. Now, we need to build um, hydrothermal f hydrothermal fuel cells. That's where the cytophosphate came into play, as well as the salt, obviously extra salt and extra carbon. So let's go ahead and make one... I'm going to make... Yeah, two. Two ought to be fine. And we're going to transfer that to our Excel craft. So it's in there now. All right. Okay, so, and we can fuel it from here. Let's not get in there just yet. Uh, let's see. What we have is this, and we have upgrades that we can add in later on. And we just need one. All right, fully fueled and ready to go. Okay, so what's our next step? Let's find out, shall we? Okay. Yep, okay, we're just waiting for it to show that it's been completed. It does show it, but we're just waiting for the next step. <clears throat> okay. Hello, Terminus detected. I haven't even done anything. Okay. That was weird. Okay, and we're inside. And we're also protected from the weather, as you can see. Not just the depths. Uh, let me go ahead and get that back to normal. There we go. Okay. So, let's just take a ride real quick. I don't know how far it wants us to go. We can't use any sonar. For signs of the stranger's expedition. We can try to scan, but not scan, scan technologies here. We're just going to take a ride around real quick. Install new tech. Okay, well, we don't have any new tech to install, so I guess we're okay there. Computer signal detected. Okay, you just had to ride around a little bit. And it's over here. So we're going to take a look and see how long it takes to get there. It says 57 seconds, 56. I don't mind going that far. That's okay to go a minute away. Plus, it gives you a test out of the Nautilin. Nautilin is pretty quick, and it's good for certain situations. Uh, whether you're speed running or whether you're, you know, just in regular ordinary uh, situations, um, you can get places pretty quick with it. Sometimes it's faster to take your ship, though. Keep that in mind. So if you have an area that you can land at and use just use your ship, you can do that. Okay. So we're gonna take a ride into here. I don't know why I'm suddenly dropping like a rock. These particular places are replete with um, those guys there, so keep that in mind. I'm actually going to keep it on mining beam. It's pretty powerful when we can take out these guys. See? Very fast. And these hypnotic eyes are very handy. And there's usually more than one. So if you have a moment, grab the others. Yep, he's over here. Nope. Oh. No, he's not. He's in... Oh, yeah, yeah, there he is. They stuck him on top. Get that eyeball. Got it. Okay. So we don't have to worry about him attacking us while we're inside. Okay. In we go. There's our abandoned terminal. There are other things in here we can get, but let's just go straight to the terminal. And get rid of the goop. Despite the decay, the, the station's mainframe remains functional. The records have clearly been accessed, accessed by whoever came here before. The last entry is a download of a high-power sonar unit. But there's something strange. The timestamps have been purged, and there's no way to tell how long the crew were here. Was this place on land when it was last visited? The horrors that lurked outside must surely have come after, but what drew them here, unless... Okay, so we need a solar mirror and we need more ferrite, so I guess we're going to go shopping. We are going to check the little containers real quick, and if there's anything on the wall we can salvage, we will. I will go ahead and get that. Actually, you know what? Let's grab the metal, and we'll turn it into ferrite. 
I think that's a good idea, don't you? Let's get in our normal in first. There we go. So, we want to install it. We'll go ahead and get it installed just to start with. There we go. Back to the exosuit. Uh, where's our refiner? Do we not have a backpack refiner yet? We should have gotten that a long time ago. Okay. Well, we know what we need to do. Let me go ahead and get to a land spot. Spot that there's land at. And we can pull in our ship. Uh, take a quick peek around and see what close, closest spot is. I think this is the closest. A lot of shallow areas around here. Plus there might be some rocks up here I can start with. We only need 50 ferrite. They don't like land very well. But you can have fun with it. Alright, we're going to put our ship here. We're going to put our refiner right here. And I am going to get a backpack refiner. I think that's next. What do you think? I think it's a smart idea. Where's the metal? There it is. And while we're waiting, uh, let's see. Wow. There is a lot of ferrite here to be had. And we're not even hurting the charge on this thing. Isn't this funny? Not even overheating yet. Resource gathering. So much fun. Not boring at all, right? There we go. Let's see how we're doing. Thousand. I think that's enough. What do you think? Refiner's still done. Yeah, it's done. Okay, we'll go ahead and pick it up. Okay. Alright, so we need to craft a solar mirror or two, right? How many do we need? We just need one. Let's get the one. Uh, yep, got plenty of that. Okay. Sonar is now installed. Okay. Gotta look for survivors. Looks like it's already found them, but let's just go a little bit anyway. Uh, somehow it just changed. No, no, there it is. Okay, we're good. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. So apparently someone just subscribed to my channel. While I'm playing No Man's Sky. I don't know why. I'll have to get rid of the uh, alerts. That's funny. All right. Uh, let's see. X and freighter crash, right? Okay, so that's what we need. Sonar, crash freighters. And you can find some nice ships down here, guys. Keep that in mind. Great way to find some wrecks. All right, so that's where we're headed. And if you look at it, it tells you that it is 1241 away. Guess what? We're not taking all the way there. I used to do that. I used to take the Nautilus the whole way and have to recharge it multiple times. But yeah, not smart to do. You got it marked on your on your map. Just take it. And all you need to do is put down another base and pull in your Nautilus when you need to. Look at that. 12 minutes by Nautilus or th less than 30 seconds by ship. No brainer, right guys? Could have went out into the upper atmosphere too and got there maybe a little quicker, but this is a pretty ride. Okay, and hopefully if it's sticking up out of the water, it is. 
try to practice your landings for those of you who are new. If you have any of the structure sticking out of the water up here, over here, you can land on this. Just come in slow. There you go. Look at that. It doesn't quite get the graphics quality right, but it works. All right, we're not even going to bother with the Nautilus. Let's just go ahead and get into the water. You're going to go through a lot of oxygen here, trust me. Log. Okay, now eight souls, right? So eight days past their crash. Located the wreck, but the ship's computer was a washout. We salvaged what supplies we could and left. I don't want to be nearby when the water eats through the reactor housing. Tidal patterns here are increasingly strange. The water has risen rapidly, but we are yet to see it ebb. We could return and salvage more when the water falls away. The survivors made it back to the wreck of the freighter, but moved on soon after. I'll have to do the same if I am to find them. Before I leave, I make one final search of the archives. There are no more clues, but I do locate blueprints for some aquatic construction modules. At least the journey was not in vain. Shut down signal. I shut down the distress beacon. There is no one here to rescue. Okay, so we get all of our underwater aquatic construction parts this way. Not all of them, but we get a good portion of them. The ship is up here. Good. Okay, so what's our next point? Let's find out. Return to the Nautilus, and now we're going to search for the crew again. So if you want to, while you're down here... Nautilus. And you see it uh, unfortunately took all of our salt. Can we get it from our ship? Is there anything? No. So we took all of our salt away because we used it for other stuff. That's cytophosphate. That's not what we're looking for. That's salt. That's chlorine. Okay, I think we got all the salt. Alright. I'm actually shooting them this time because I don't have time for their nonsense. Thank you for protecting your uh, plants. Alright, so we need the Nautilus chamber. Right there. And what you do is you use this particular to summon it. There it is. And then delete it. And you get everything back. Okay, we got everything back. Okay, in we go. And now we're going to detect sunken buildings like it says. So we want to do sunken buildings. Okay, and there it is. And it is four minutes away. But we're not going to go there. We're just going to go up here to our ship. As we jump out of the water. I have no idea where it just put me. That was funny. Okay. Um, in our, in we go. There we go. Okay, good. On our way. Anti-gravity well is out of business. There we go. Out of fuel. So instead of four minutes away, less than ten seconds. We just have to get to an island that's close by. I think I'll do this one. I was going to do that one up there, but that's a pain in the neck to get on and off. I wish my coffee was hotter. Oh well, it is what it is. I think my throat is easing up. Right there, okay. And get your jetpack on, and you can get a nice big rush towards it faster. Now, it's going to take a little more time to get back, but, you know, hey, don't worry about it. And you blow through these uh, recharge modules like crazy. All right, so we got some bad guys here. There's one up on top again. If you do get caught in their little tractor beam, just keep shooting. There you go. Just hit the E button until you're out. And when he shows back up, there you go. He was just all ready for me when I came around the bend. That's all. All right. I think that's everybody. Let's head in.
Those eyes are worth some money, too, so you might as well grab them. All right. Dupe. Dupe. Gone. Log accessed. Signal echo distorted. Recovering data. Log 62A. Now we're at 12 souls. It was my turn to dive today. Once again, nothing of interest, nothing but kelp and rocks. The water is yet to recede. Some of the crew have taken to swimming without their suits. It looks so inviting. Yeah, that was a mistake. Oh, there's two units down there. Okay, we'll get some extra supplies. Doesn't look like there's anything else for me in here. There we go. Okay. Let's head out. Now we're going to search for the crew again. But we need the Nautilin. Okay. So, we do the same thing again. Pull it in. Summon. Delete. Get in your Nautilin. Use the high-power sonar. We're looking for sunken buildings again. And this time it is that way. Let me see how far away it is. 231. Will it take longer to get to my ship? I don't know. No, 25 seconds to get to our ship. Let's go that way because I want to bring my ship along. I don't want to have to keep going back and forth. It'll only take a few seconds. Hopefully this place to land over here it doesn't look like there is, so that's a problem. Uh, we got a little bit of an issue right there, so it would have probably been better for me to just take the Nautilus, but I still needed to bring my ship in at some point. Do, 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 do. There we go, 600. Let's see how fast we can get there, shall we? So, see, the Nautilus would have been a better option here. And it's getting towards nighttime anyway. Like Kevin's, we have all that dioxide and batteries and stuff, huh? Alright, so this is another building. We're going to do the same thing again. Again, these are expensive, in case you're wondering. So, let me take a look at it real quick. Each one is worth 57000 each, so if you're just thinking about whether it's worth getting them or not, just get them. Oops. Nope, nope. The door is right there. It's perched over the door this time. Okay. And we'll get rid of our goop again. Log accessed. Same thing again. Read log. Now we're at 21 souls. The secondary dive team came back early today. They found a cave full of strange crystals, but the lights on the sub cut out and forced them home. They seem upset, disturbed, but we have to go back while we still have an idea of where it is, before the shifting tides rob us. We'll never build anything without advanced materials. Log 115D. We fixed the lights on the Nautilus. I'm heading out. Log continues. Now we're at 23 souls two days later. Uh, we found the cave. I knew we would, but what a find. Great towering crystals of brilliant red, rich metal deposits, concentrated deuterium, all we could ever need. We just we might just make it after all. Now if only we could get a dry night's sleep. Leave. Okay. So we're discovering the fate of this crew. Well, I grab resources. Same thing. Nautilin chamber again. Pull it in again. There we go. I hit my chart, my, my scanner by accident. Unfortunately, when you do that, you have to wait for it to recharge completely. So we're going to look for more sunken buildings. And there we go. Now we have access. Okay. Detected. Over that way. 252. So we should just take this Nautilus this time? I don't know. 
got enough charge to it. Let me see. We don't have like a booster or anything like that, unlike other uh, ships. So, we can't like, you know, turbo thrust real quick to get someplace faster. It's just, you're limited to what you can do. Now, we know that there's a possibility they may be upgrading the uh, oceans a little bit more. Not just the water feature like it is right now. They may be doing more in regards to that, uh, as far as making it maybe even deeper, making some abysses down below, possibly putting some um, uh, creatures you have to fight in here. That would be interesting. And we all know that these are features that they're going to be adding to Light No Fire, possibly one day as well. So, when is that coming? Don't ask, I don't. We can sus We can be suspicious about it. Got a funny feeling it's going to be like next summer or something like that. But we should get more information about it, I hope, this winter. It's been almost a year since we've heard any news on it, so I think that's next. Okay, so here's our sunken building. We're just about there. And we're about half fuel at this point, so. Alright, so we gotta go around the other side. Let's go over here. That looks pretty good. Oops. Came out on the wrong side of the ship. There we go. I thought I was going to come out on the far side. There we go. Got a lot of eyes, that's for sure. The eyes have it. Okay. Heading in. And we get rid of our goop and on to the story. Lock accessed. Okay. 98 souls. Wow. So we've gone about 70 days since the last time they put a log in. I had the dream again. The endless purple waves, mile after mile. A relief at first from the dull crimson ache, but then I can't escape the feeling there's something else there. I look around and there's nothing. Nothing. I blink and I see them. Faint at first. Just lines, but it's unmistakable. Repeated geometric shapes traced in the sky, row after row of triangles, slowly scrolling past, and I can't explain it. But it's the most terrible thing I've ever seen. It's almost a relief to wake up and see the rain again. Log continues. 399. We just took a huge leap of 300 days. We're almost where we were when we found the other part, right? When we found the beginning. They've gone back to that wretched cave, every one of them. No one is listening to me. We can still build the hyperdrive, I know it. After that, flushing the salt out of the launch thrusters will be easy. Still 399. We've all had the same dream, the same rambling, the teeth in the sky, those crystals. It's nonsense. There's nothing else down there. We've taken it all. But what can I do? Maybe I missed something. Maybe they're right. One last look won't hurt. They go one more time. 400 days on the planet. That's what they have to show for it. Okay, so we got to go up. Several scans will be required, it says. So So we do one scan. Okay. It's not going to do it. we got to go a little ways. See the distance scouted, it says? Scan. Scan. Okay. Over there. 500, 554. Let's get up to the surface real quick. Take a look. I'm going to take my ship this time. Uh, let's see. We'll head in that direction. That's what we'll do. And yeah, there's an island right there. We'll head towards that. Because that's a bit further than I like to just 
travel by uh, Nautilus. You hit your space bar, you rise to the surface. Sometimes you fly out of the sur out, uh, out of into the air with your Nautilus. Interesting features. It's almost like the waves hitting it. I'm actually going to adjust it so that it's facing where we need to go for once, right? Do the smart thing. There we go. Okay, let's see how far out we have to go and see if we have any place to land. that building, uh, not building, landing spot. Looks like there's a little bit of land right here. Like rocks sticking up out of the water. I don't know if we can land on it, but we'll try. Yeah, we can land on this. Alright, there we go. Tiny little islands, and the sea is getting rough, right? 427. That's not bad. They're running start. Our jetpack, and we should. There we go. Got a good boost out of it this time. See, eating up the distance real fast. Good deal. Okay. Got two eyes. There's one. This should be nine and ten, I think. Two. Got them. This time I got him. I win. Reload. There we go. Okay, let's head in. Okay, terminal. Ooh, this one's open. Trapped. Subreactor leaking. It grabbed me, but they're dead now. Their eyes are all shut. That must be the uh, hypnotic eyes we just grabbed. I think my leg is broken. My hand hurts. If I can just find an air tank, I can still get back home. Log continues. The recording continues, but it's just hours of scratchy silence, the static of the currents. I have a haunting sensation of being watched. I wonder who this crew really were. It seems I will never find out. So, we now have the helmet. That should complete out this whole thing. Find the remains, we're just about there. Just about there. Let me check here. Hold on. Yep, it is complete. So, no, pardon me, the Dreams of the Deep is now completed. Go ahead and get recharged on everything, and we're going to make our way back to the ship. And we're going to show you the new helmet that you get from this. We're going at a pretty good clip here. I'm not going to worry about pulling in the Nautilin again. So you can pull the Nautilin in anywhere you want underwater. And like I said, it is a great way to find some crashed ships on a watery planet. So if you got a planet that has a lot of water on it, drop a Nautilin in the water and tell it to search for a crashed ship. And there's usually quite a bit. Normally on land you find a few. You know, maybe several. There's even more under the water, at least in my opinion. And here we go. Okay. So, let's check out the appearance of the new helmet. We'll need to head to the Let's see. That's weird. Where's our space station at? Let me get away from this planet a little ways. There we go. I think it's where the... Yeah, that's right. It's where the... I'm locked in now. The anomaly's located. This is the anomaly's in between me and the space station, so unfortunately it's blocking the whole symbol of the space station. Uh, 
object of interest, really? <laughs> Alright, in we go. Could have done it in the anomaly too, but... And it may be time to change my appearance anyway. It's time to take up the uh, appearance of a traveler. Not just a regular ordinary one of the mill walker here. Okay, there we go. Huh. My running fuel ran out. Go figure. All right. Let's check it out. So, it should be right here. So, if you're wondering what it looks like, that is what it looks like. And you can put markings on it as well. Um, as you can see, my character is mostly in the regular plain white and oranges that it defaults to. Um, I always prefer to add a little color to everything as well. So I may be adding some more color to this. So in regards to the ocean, let's go with some blue colors, shall we? Some brighter blue for now. That looks like a good match, just for the time being. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and accept that. And there we go. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is your new helmet that you can get. For one of the creepiest expeditions you'll ever have. So, that should do it. So this ends this episode of No Man's Sky world's playthrough it is the the dreams of the deep episode that uh it does need to be accomplished if you use your nautilus through the whole thing it'll take a little longer so uh go ahead and feel free to do it it is one of the creepiest ones that they have in this game but uh not the one that i particularly care for but i like to at least get it out of the way so you get all your your underwater um items so like i said uh in the next couple of minutes after this episode i'm going to go ahead and get a personal refiner for my backpack uh, backpack refiner, if you will, so I don't have to carry that stupid thing around with me everywhere I go. <laughs> so, all right, so we're going to call it here, folks. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe as usual, and we'll see you again in the next episode. Take care, everybody.